full day of eating as a vegan for six years. I'm gonna show you as a vegan why I eat for breakfast, the most important meal of the day, lunch, dinner, and snacks. Listen, guys, the meals I'm about to show you for breakfast, lunch, dinner, is to expose all the vegan myths, you know, all the lies that vegans can't build muscle, you know, they lack nutrients, they eat grass, vegans only consume supplements, it's all nonsense. And of course, don't forget to pay the algorithm. You know, to reach as many people as possible, you know, to learn and educate himself on the power of on a vegan diet. So make sure to smash the red subscribe button, smash the like button, comment down below. If you have any questions, just comment down below, man. Connect with me on all my social media platforms and let's get it. I just got back from the gym just done, and today obviously was leg day, man. Absolutely amazing. Put the work in. Just that strong mind, hard body, unbeckless spirit, and I feel amazing. Now I'm gonna show you what I'm having for breakfast. Let's get it. I present to you the homemade vegan waffle by yours truly. Look how healthy and delicious this is, that man. Yo, my fortune. I wanna eat it right now, man. If you think that vegans lack nutrients, think again, man. Yo, the ingredients right here, man, banana, uh, oats, just stand, uh, seeds, there's hemp seeds, chia seeds, pumpkin seeds, you know, you got vegan yogurt, you got uh, blueberries. So all this, every single ingredient in this meal, man, is packed with nutrients, vitamins, minerals, all of that. The second myth is that vegans lack protein in their diet. That's further from the truth. You know, this this meal right here has got 50 grams of protein, you know. The ingredients, obviously, uh, which are protein is the chia seeds, hemp seeds, pumpkin seeds, you know. And also I have um, protein powder as well. That's 20 grams of protein. You get it? So it's not a bit protein to build muscle, man. It see, the vegan diet's got a huge variety of uh, protein sources to build muscle. Now I'm going to enjoy my healthy, delicious vegan waffle because yo, you know how it is when you're done leg day, man. Yo, your metabolism is hunger, it's on, on another level. You understand? So I'm going to show you after I have my meal, I'm going to show you what I drink after every meal. I'm going to show you the supplements I take during my meals or after my meals to get all my essential vitamins and minerals in my body. The first supplement is vitamin D3 plus K2. Now it's very important because in the UK, there's no sun, absolutely dead out. Just that all you're seeing is rain, colds, all gray, all gray clouds, that's it, just that. So, uh, especially in many native people who are, uh, who are many people, dark skin, light skin, you know, you need your vitamin D3, you understand? With vitamin D3, that's where you get energy from, reduce tiredness, fatigue. And K2, the reason why K2 supports essential here is because that's going to absorb the calcium. First of all, this helps produce the calcium. Now, this K2 helps, helps direct the calcium into your, um, into your bone, bones and ligaments. The second supplement is uh, probiotic. It's very important. Obviously, you can get it uh, from food, but it's also uh, because obviously I've got um, a little, a little a stomach issue. Just then, um, that's why uh, I'm having this and I just then. But I don't usually uh, take prebiotics because I get it from my food. Um, but yeah, um, this right here, man. Um, yeah, 120 in there, uh, vegan. You know, um, was as a non-GMO, you know, so no toxins, chemicals, all that garbage, and it's uh, gluten-free. And the last supplement I take, uh, you know what I'm saying, to, to reduce tiredness and fatigue, is taking vitamin B uh, complex, you understand? So uh, it's all, all, uh, all eight uh, vitamins, and, uh, vitamins and vitamin C, you understand? That's for energy. Yeah, as you can see right here, man, um, B2, B3, B7, B6, B9, B12. 
Now, what I have after every meal is herbal tea. And there's a huge variety of uh, herbal, herbal teas in it. Obviously, this right here is a raw green tea right here, man. Yeah, not from, the, not from the, the tea bags. That's dead. Yes, that's extract. This right here is raw. Straight from the roots. Raw green tea. And the herbal teas is very important because this is going to uh, help uh, aid digestion. You understand? It's rich in anti anti-inflammatories. Uh, what you call it, it detoxifies the body. So get rid of the toxins, the chemicals, you know, uh, reduce the cholesterol out of the body. It helps protect against illness and diseases. Um, boost the immune system. So many benefits when it comes to herbal tea. And especially uh, green tea. Green tea is one of the most powerful herbal teas you can have. Do you understand? So uh, start drinking um, green tea consistently. Guys, apart from eating food and eating your snacks, it's so important to hydrate your body properly. Do you understand? Which is not drinking a gallon of water. Do you understand? Which is drinking a gallon of water, but the problem with that is that where you could, it's got no nutrients. Do you understand? It's got no nutrients in your body. And your body is made up of 102 minerals. Do you understand? So it shows that we are human beings. We are electrical beings. Do you understand? Our whole body, our, all of our organs, we are covered with vitamins and minerals. So that means we need to uh, drink water. You got water. And the best water you can drink is spring water. Uh, alkaline water and uh, what else than that? Yeah, spring water, alkaline water. That, that that's the best way you can do. Of course, the best, obviously, even better than that is uh, water from the mountains. Do you understand? But that is obviously if you get access to that water. So, um, where you call it? So you got water. So what we need, what you need to be having to make sure that you actually one hundred percent hydrated. But don't get me wrong. I don't, I'm not telling you not to drink no water. Well, so you need water because our body contains 70% water. You get it? But to be 100% hydrated, to get that, to feel energy, to feel good, just start to boost the immune system, digestive system, is Celtic sea salt. Yes, do your research on it. It's Celtic sea salt. So it's got, um, it has over 82 minerals, trace minerals, 82, which contains the essential. Um, uh, minerals which is magnesium, zinc, and potassium. Very important, do you understand? So, um, yeah, it's just basically a salt, uh, crystal salt, basically. Looks like this, if you can see it. And what you do, um, well, what you do is put it into your mouth, onto your tongue, like this. Uh, let it melt, or you can drink water straight away. And you'll, and you'll feel the uh, water, where you call it, the uh, crystals uh, melting in your mouth. Yeah, just, just drink, drink a good amount of water. Do you understand? And that means now when you have this in your system, now you are hydrated. But apart from a hydration, you can put it onto your favorite dishes. Do you understand? Your salad, all these things, you can add salt onto it. Do you understand? So this is how to properly hydrate yourself. It's now 4.20 p.m. in the UK, wherever you're from. And before I show you my vegan lunch, all I've been doing before that time, a couple of hours gone by, about two and a half hours gone by, and uh, I've been focusing on my time on um, creating uh, plenty of videos to help people become the better version of themselves. My second meal of the day, do you understand? Which is, in here, this bowl, we got, yo, but let's have the protein. You got uh, quinoa, which is a complete protein source, and we got red lentils. You understand? That's 18 grams of protein per cup, you know? Um, then we go to carbs. Of course, that's complex carbs. That's quinoa. You understand? Now, when it comes to the uh, healthy fats, I've got um, I've got uh, avocado. You have half avocado in there. You understand? Healthy fats. Now, of course, the vitamins and minerals. <laughs> Then we got, of course, you got the kales in there. Yes, and the kale, the um, red bell pepper, you know, uh, onions. Um, what do you call it? I got herbs and spices in there as well. Um, what else I got in there? 
uh yeah so that's basically this is called complete a uh, balanced meal right there this is what you want you don't know you don't want to just focus on protein because you want to build muscle nah just that you want a complete health a complete healthy meal which contains so uh, your macronutrients that's your protein carbs and fat and also your micronutrients which is your uh, your uh, vegetables your herbs and spices if you haven't tried this, you must be sleeping on the rock. Like, where you been? This right here, man, is... Forget all the breasts you've been having. they got, that's got like 20, 30 ingredients in there. Forget those. Just That's, that's garbage. Just you understand? What you want to have here is... Uh, um, because the reason why it's garbage, because real bread only contains four ingredients. That's water, flour, and uh, something else. Just you I think it's corn. So four, four ingredients is got. That's it. So this right here is called sourdough bread. This right bread right here. <laughs> of course, it's a uh, rich of fiber, so it helps to keep you uh, full for longer. But uh, apart from that though, it's light, you understand? It doesn't uh, bloat you up like other breads do. And uh, yo, <laughs> the the uh, taste is 10 out of 10, man. Literally, man. You understand? Like, you put this in there, man. Put salad in there, you know? Or... Whatever favorite, uh, whatever favorite your favorite lunch is or dinner is, eat it, eat it. Put some, put some food on there and eat it, and tell me how it tastes. For me, it tastes ten out of ten. You understand? So make sure when you go next on your grocery shopping to grab yourself sourdough bread. Oh yes, we are in nature. Yes, that nature is beautiful, peaceful. Yes, that colorful, all positive vibes. That's it, man. But yeah, after eat after every eat every meal, so a three meals, three main meals a day, I go out for a walk. Yes, damn. To uh, of course, the reason why I do that is to obviously aid digestion. That's number one. The second thing is that the reason why I go <coughs> for a um, for a walk here yeah, is because being outdoors for being out uh, indoors for too long, it's not good for your mental health, physical health. It's not good for it. Because we realize here yeah, when you when you are uh, when you are um, where is it again when you are uh, um, uh, indoors for a period of time, you start to get headache, stress, just start start, tension start building in your head. You don't feel good. You know exactly what I'm talking about, bro. Yes, Sam. Um, so that's gonna show you that it's the sign. Anytime you experience those symptoms, it's time for you to go outside. So anytime I experience any of these symptoms, there's a slightly bit. It's time for me to go outside to clear my mind and I just start to get back in tune with nature. Yes, Sam. Because we, um, when you think about it, when you look back in the days, back in the days, yeah, they were living outside. Yes, Sam. Back in the days, we were sleeping outside and that all this made up out of wood. We just have been uh, made up our hood and then sleep outside. Just like into tents. That's what used to be back in the day, you know, before the world obviously got modernized. You know, of all these houses and villas and mansions and these big buildings. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, that's a good one, obviously. It's gonna, uh, so it's highly recommend to do that. Every couple of hours go outside and that. It doesn't matter how busy you are, what you're doing and that. Just like, oh, oh, the first, first, the first number one priority is take care of your mental health. That's the first priority and that. Just stand. Make sure that your mind is clear, that you feel good. That's the more important thing. When you feel good and that, then you'll be super productive. Just stand. You'll be super productive and you're able to, uh, execute at your highest level. Just stand. You're able to pay attention to small details. You understand? That's the first and foremost in that. But a lot of people, a lot of people, they don't, they don't prioritize their uh, mental health. You understand? They out in the, you know, for hours. I don't know if you're working on your business. I don't know if you're playing video games, whatever. But way you call it, doesn't matter what you're doing, good or bad, you need to go outside of that because you are, you are from, uh, you are equal, you come from nature and you go, go back to nature. All of us. This is how I come from. So, uh, yeah, so now I'm just like walking out, I'm gonna do some breath work. So, I'm gonna do some breath work now, obviously, to give me more, more mental clarity because I've been indoors for a couple of hours now. And, and then, of course, then I get back to uh, creating content and I'm gonna show you, and then obviously, gonna show you what I have in between my meals from the drinks and snacks. So, stay tuned. Back in my yard, and of course, 
I made fennel tea, man. Just uh, fennel, fennel tea. It helps with um, digestion and other benefits. And the way you call it, it tastes good and it smells fire. It smells like it's got a rosy uh, taste and smell. Just done. You need, to, you need to try that. And why why I add it with um uh where's again uh to add more extra flavor is uh where you call a gaffy syrup. This is what you want in that. Just done. forget all those um fancy syrups that you get from a super supermarket. Just done. those are loaded with sugar, fructose. Other sugars, just stand. It's not M plus, it's not natural. Those are syrups and that, just stand. They're not natural at all, man. Just stand. Uh, this right here, man, this is what you want agave nectar syrup, organic sweetener from the uh, blue Weber agave plant. So it comes from a plant, plant and that. So it's plant based, just stand, vegan. And it tastes absolutely, absolutely banging. Just stand. You can add it to your cereal, your uh, oatmeal, you know, your uh, baked oats. Just stand. Really, really good. Tastes good and that, man. And of course, uh, it's part of n nutrition. And of course, it satisfies your sweet tooth. And of course, you got to have your herbal teas with grapefruit and that. Just stand. Obviously, um, it tastes sour. But again, the healthiest things... For your health and well-being is taste sour just then so get used to that the most important thing you look at it is what it does for the body that's the most important thing so this right here man of course obviously it's got uh it's loaded with water h3to water just then and uh what you call it uh the main thing that this does here it detoxifies the liver just then so it gets your your liver function properly get blood form properly down there you know what I'm saying to you? So yeah, just uh, this right here, man, is really good in that. Uh, also, we had a solid meal on that, just then. To, um, was, uh, was as a citrus fruit, it help, um, it's acidic. So it helps break down uh, your food and aid digestion faster. It's quarter past eight in the UK right now. And uh, yeah, it's been a productive day, a very happy of my efforts. You know, me pay to create a plenty of content, you know, to bring as much value to people as possible. And uh but now it's time for vegan dinner. Let's go. There you have it, man. Vegan dinner by yours truly. Come on. And uh, obviously rich in protein, carbs, fat, and vitamins and minerals, you know, as you can see right here on this bowl, we've got sweet potatoes, hummus spinach, uh, bell peppers, half avocado, you know, herbs and spices. And as I told you earlier in the video, man, for my vegan um, launch, you know, we want to back up again. You know what I'm saying to you? Sourdough bread and that, man. This bread, it makes, it makes, it makes, you, enjoy your, it makes you enjoy your food so much and that, man. Got so much flavor, you know? And you add food on top of it and you eat it. Even more flavor, man. I'm telling you, man. I'm putting you on right now. When you go to your next grocery shopping, grab yourself some sourdough bread. Oh, man. I enjoy that vegan dinner, man. That's definitely needed. Yes, and, and of course, I've got to wash it down with, of course, orange and that, man. You know what I'm saying? Rich in vitamin C, you know, uh, obviously it gives you plenty of energy and so many more benefits. It's night time now in England. It's 9.38, you know, so probably less than two hours before I go to sleep. And of course, at my vegan dinner, I'm going to show you now what herbal tea I'm having. It's probably, I would say, the most... Um, the most crucial herbal tea that you need to have every day for optimal health. This right here is ginger turmeric tea. Yes, Dan, very powerful. Why I say it's powerful? Because it's got ginger, this anti-inflammatory, you know, for your joints and ligaments. Um, it's got turmeric in it. Turmeric is very powerful herb that's been used hundreds of years in Asian civilizations. Powerful, it helps protect against illnesses and diseases, you know? Um, what else and that? Uh, over also got lemon in there. Lemon that's a detox fire, De it's a detox, you know, give it the toxins, chemicals out of your body. And of course, uh, I've got uh, cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper, of course, got many benefits, but the main benefit is that it, um, where it could increase your blood flow and it cleanses your blood, it's a blood cleanser.
cayenne pepper and also black pepper which helps helps absorption yes son uh, absorption into your into your bloodstreams you know what i'm saying to you and again uh it's a it's a cleanser you know and those who come later essential because that's going to protect you against the uh, colds and flus you know so this is very powerful when you have this yeah you, you're gonna feel very warm inside very very warm inside and that do you understand so um yeah i'm a very very easy to make and if you want me to show you do tutorial on how to uh make a uh, ginger to make uh, tea just comment down below yes sir and i'll make it happen it's now of course night time it's 10 o'clock in the in uh, england so there's one hour left before i go sleep and um we call it uh there's this one supplement that i take that gives me high quality sleep literally i sleep like a baby every single day and that is taking magnesium glycinate we've added vitamin b6 b6 is uh helps with uh energy reduced tiredness and fatigue so uh, the reason why i me take this for the last couple of weeks um where you call it uh, of course i wanted a deeper level c because realizing that i was lacking a little bit of magnesium i just want to make sure that i've um that i'm consuming enough magnesium even though i'm sure that i'm consuming enough mag magnesium this is only a trial once it's finished i'm not buying it buying this again you know what i'm saying because i want to get uh, most of my nutrients uh from whole foods uh so the magnesium uh, it plays a crucial role in the support of your muscle and nervous system you know and also while at the same time um it supports a healthy balance of uh, electrolyte dis distribution in your body Electrolyte is very important for tire for tiredness fatigue for energy you know um for nerve function muscle function immune system everything because the human body contains over 102 minerals Con contains sorry 102 minerals you know what i'm saying to you so uh just get drinking water it's not going to be enough for that because water's got no electrolytes so that's why you gotta eat your like your fruits you know your coconut water stuff like that to um uh, where you go to obviously to distribute um electrolytes in your body and that is the end of the video man you understand i showed you as a vegan uh what i eat and what i drink you know food they have eaten so i hope this content gives you a clear understanding of uh how as a vegan i get my protein my vitamins my minerals how i build muscle how i gain weight you know and um where you call it show hopefully you'll sh share this uh, valuable information to your friends and family so now they get a better understanding of of uh how to thrive on a vegan diet you see so uh i've been uh, been doing it for over six years now and it's definitely worked out for me and will definitely work out for you as well if you know what you're doing you see so um yeah let's break the algorithm by smashing the event subscriber on comment down below hit that like button and a pitch for watching and i'll see you in my next video